Good morning from Santa Cruz de Lieutenant Reef. This is the Plaza de la Candelaria, and my hotel is right there on the right. It's right on the plaza. Really beautiful morning here. It's quite laid back. As you can see, the sun is pretty low in the sky still, even though it's 9.30 in the morning, and that's because of that odd time zone issue here in the Canary Islands where they're on Spanish time, and thus they are kind of ahead of the game compared to where they should be. So, otherwise it would be about 7.30 in the morning if it was in its actual time zone. So I don't have too much time today to explore the city, but I do have about three hours. So I should be able to see most of the sights during my time here this morning. And then it'll be off to the ferry terminal to head to Gran Canaria, which is about 80 minutes away by the fast ferry. I bought the ticket this morning, it cost me 44 euros to make the trip across. So not too expensive, but not too cheap. So this is one of the Spanish colonial victory monuments here in the heart of Plaza de la Candelaria. You can see this is one of the city's most impressive plazas. It's most impressive is Plaza Espan where I'm headed next. But you can see there is tons of high-rises here in Santa Cruz de la Tenerife. It's much more built up and booming than the south coast where I was before. Yeah, really atmospheric. Definitely reminds me of a Spanish city. And again, there's a lot of vibes of like Barcelona and the Ramblas here. I'm gonna head over to the Plaza España now to begin a day of sightseeing here in the city center. This is the massive pond in the heart of the Plaza de España or Spanish Plaza. Really beautiful morning here. Even though it's about 9.45 or almost 10 o'clock in the morning, it's so dark outside still. It's the only negative part of this is that it attracts all these little sand flies and mosquitoes that are constantly biting at my arms right now. Really beautiful views of the North Mountains there along the peninsula. And you can see there right in the foreground are the ferries to other islands around the Canary Islands. So that's where I'm gonna be heading at 2 p.m. to catch the boat to Gran Canaria. So you can see it definitely is a beautiful Spanish city and much larger than you might expect to find down here in the Canary Islands. This is Africa. You might not realize it or notice it, I guess, when you're here, but we're only about, you know, 100 to 200 kilometers off the African coast, so. This is geographically Africa, which is really mind boggling. So you can see this gate is right here in the center of Plaza España. This is a part of the old castle that once stood here in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Very beautiful. Here is the Plaza España monument. I believe it's a war monument. You can see dedication to those who lost their lives in the service of Spain. This is the Cabildo, which is basically the legislature here in Tenerife. So this is the main seat of government for this island. So it says in the front, the Cabildo Insular, so the island legislature, basically. And you can see it's going through some intense restoration there. The entire top half of the building is pretty much wrapped up in what seems to be like a mesh, maybe to prevent pieces from falling down, I'm not sure. But really impressive building here. You can see it's quite old too. I would say it's probably late 1800s, early 1900s by the looks of it. Kind of interesting urban art here. It looks like they've planted cacti in these little shallow pots on top of the building here, which is the tourist information center. Kind of unique. pieces of evidence that this is undeniably African territory are these trees. You don't see trees like this outside of Africa. It looks like something right out of a savanna. Really beautiful. So this is the Parroquia Matriz de Nuestra Señora de la Concepción Church, which is an outstanding historical church here. Colonial era, beautiful whitewashed with those brick details on the corners. Really beautiful church. So this is the Plaza de la Iglesia, which is one of the major city squares here in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. And again, those beautiful mansions pretty much everywhere here. Just walking back towards the hotel now to check out. I'm just getting to that hour. Got about an hour and a half before I have to be at the ferry terminal. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. So I'm just having lunch here at the Sergeceria Cinquenta Montaditos. This hot dog here cost me only a euro 20. This was only one euro, which is patatas bravas, uh, which is kind of 
the Spanish omelet covered in brava salsa, some chips, and I ordered the guacamole and cheddar nachos. So pretty decent lunch here, and all of this is just five euros. So from here, I'm gonna be heading down to the ferry terminal, which is about ooh, three blocks away. My ferry leaves in about one hour, so I got enough time for lunch here, and then I'll head down there. The ferry ticket was pretty expensive. It cost me 44 euros for the 90 minute trip, which is about 50, 55 bucks US. They're a bit pricey, but whatever. Same as the Seychelles, or even when I was in Zanzibar last summer, about the same price. So they definitely have a beautiful Malecon or boardwalk, oceanfront boardwalk here in Santa Cruz de Tenerife. You can see the frontage along the waterfront is just beautiful and then the mountains there to the north. And this here is the boat that's going to take me across to Gran Canaria. So I got about 20 minutes to check in. I'm guessing it's in this building over here. Pretty bustling port here in Santa Cruz de Tenerife in the north end of the island. Express to Gran Canaria. A lot of space in here. It's really nice. I guess it pays to get here early. There's almost nobody on the boat yet. And I got myself front row seats. Pretty comfortable. I mean, hey, it's not first class, but it is what it is. But a beautiful view. So you can see the island of Gran Canaria right in front of us. I got myself a barquito from the cafe for one euro forty. Really inexpensive prices actually on board. And heading back to my seat at the front of the ship. From Santa Cruz, it was a short one hour and 20 minute ferry ride covering the 57 nautical miles between Tenerife and the island of Gran Canaria. All right, we are approaching Gran Canaria. Pretty crazy how close they get to the cliffs here. That's where we're headed. All right, as you can see, he's basically pulling us right into the harbor right here. That is a very, very awkward angle for a boat of this size to enter. Beautiful north coast here of Gran Canaria, amazing. Yeah, the ride over here only took about 65, 70 minutes, so it was really fast, actually. And there's a free bus service from here to uh, Las Palmas, which is just 50 kilometers down the road. Welcome to downtown Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. I just arrived here in town. You can see it's a pretty chill place. A lot of people out enjoying the sunshine. Beautiful palm trees pretty much everywhere here. So this is the largest city in the Canary Islands. It's definitely a very green city with these beautiful plazas and parks everywhere in the center. I'm getting distracted and stopping probably too much given that I'm carrying my luggage everywhere I'm going, but really amazing to see so much greenery here. It's really beautiful. I've arrived here at the AC Hotel where I'm going to be spending the night in Las Palmas. So this is one of the Marriott brands and it cost me about 65 euros per night. So realistically, I'm not too sure how much sightseeing I'm going to still get done today. Most likely my sightseeing is going to start tomorrow morning. I'm not even sure what there is here in Las Palmas. So I do have to do my research as well to figure out what to see in the city. He tells me that I have a sea view room that he's upgraded me to. So check out the view. Not bad whatsoever. Beautiful. Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. 